Welcome to Local Rock Talk. This is second. Very welcome back during pandemic. Please welcome Jason of Slick Shots. What's up, man? It's good to see you. I good missed you, brother. You. I haven't been on a show with you in a long time. Yeah, I know. It's like yeah. like this whole years. pandemic thing, you know, has been rough on everybody, but it's good to be yeah. back in business with you. Yep. Rocking out with some local rock talk. That's Play right. Play a couple tunes for you. Yep. It's good stuff, man. Yep, it is good stuff. It's good to see you. Yeah, it's great to see you, man. I love the hair. Yep. You let yours grow, I cut mine. But, uh, <laughs> hey, you got to mix it up, right? Yeah. yeah. Rockstar has long hairs, too. That's right. I mean, mine's not like, I didn't completely buzz it off, but yeah. a little shorter. You know. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get to the questions. All right, let's before, do it. before you stop playing. Sure. <laughs> All right. When did you start playing guitar? So I started singing much, much earlier than I ever tried guitar. I was very blessed in that from about age 13, which was when I started singing in rock bands for the first time, Cool. I was surrounded by great guitar players all over the place who would show me little things here and there. But at that point in time, I really wasn't focused on playing guitar at all. It wasn't until I would say my mid-20s, I started really trying to learn guitar in a, in a semi-serious way. Yeah. And I'm still, you know, people that I work with in various bands are far superior guitarist to me, but I would say probably around age 26, 27, I started saying, okay, we need to really try to invest some time and learn some things. And that was the time at which that I started writing my first solo album, Conversations with Ghosts, which yep. I think you have a copy of. Yep, I do. And after that, the Slick Shark stuff and various things. But guitar came later. First and foremost, I was a vocalist. That was my first interest in Rock. Awesome. And rock on. Thank you. You too, brother. You're oh, my yeah. brother in rock. That's right. Yeah. All right. Number two. What type of music you play? I would describe the music that I play. The primary types of music that I enjoy most are rock generally, um, hard rock, punk, metal, hardcore tend to be the more aggressive styles of rock music tend yeah. to be my favorite but i listen to a lot of different stuff i i like some electronic music i like hip-hop i like uh, a variety of stuff i love like outlaw country johnny cash willie nelson that type of stuff a uh, whole variety of music the, the only genres that i don't really listen to yeah. are like classical or jazz. I just don't really... No, not but, um, type. And nothing against it. I mean, there's brilliant musicians in those genres. I just don't tend to listen to that. But um, I have a pretty wide, eclectic taste in music. I, I like a lot of different stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to talk about that bad boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, the bike... Yeah. Nice, man. Dude, this this is a beautiful piece of local rock history right here. Oh, I yeah. saw the video when you were presented with this bike. Yeah. That's amazing. So it came from the Clean River Project? Yep. Awesome, dude. All right. What do you what you think of my local rock talk display bike for the show? I think it's amazing. I think it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. You have a legit guitar with an amp yep. that plugs in. Like, it, it's all, like, ready to go. Like, you can shred. Yeah. Yeah. And it functions to get you to the studio. I think it's, I think it's amazing. Yeah. Don't ride that no more. That's why it's like that now. Yeah, so I, that's what I was wondering. Like, are you able to ride it with the guitar? That seems like it would be kind of yeah. no. tricky. This display now. Yeah. That is amazing, dude. I think this is like... Yeah. It is cool. Like Rocky Mouse and you did a good job on the bike. Yeah. 
Clean, Absolutely. Clean Ripper Project. It's an amazing bike, dude. I love it. And we're going to get them back in here, but clean our, clean our rivers again, too. Yeah. So. That, yeah, and I mean, that's an amazing cause, too. The fact that they yeah. hooked you up with this and the work that they do. Yeah, dude, I yeah. love it all. It's amazing. Here is the video of reveal of local Rock Talk bike display. Roll it. Hey, Paul. Hey, we're here. We're here today because Paul reached out to us about his bike, and he's he's done a, so many miles on that bike, and gave to, so much back to the community that we wanted to give back to him. So when he reached out to us, said, "Would you do something with that bike?" And I said, "Yes." And of course, the guys behind me were a big part of this, putting this build together, painting the bike, taking it apart. And uh, you want to say anything about how you reached out to me? Yeah, I left the post on uh, Facebook. I said, I said, I wish that I could have a local rock talk bike for my show. Then next thing you know, I then Rocky talk to me. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, it's it's an amazing. It was a great project. It was a really good project. A lot of a lot of people came together. The guys came together, and uh, you know, you'll see the bike. And uh, you know, I, I don't want to talk much until you see it, but uh, it's a really cool bike. And we get to, after we're done revealing, we can talk a little bit about that bike. You ready for your bike? Yep. All right, here it is. Whoa! There's your bike. Oh, wow! Woo! Awesome. Woo. You know, you you wanted a rock out bike. There's your rock out bike. Guitar and all. You know. Wow, I like that. The, the custom, the custom box, box is all custom on it. You know. Oh. And uh, wow. the guitar actually works. It's a real guitar and all of that. Well, anyways, that's a cool bike. I love it. And it's rock go on. <laughs> okay. I have another question. Are you gonna be making more albums? Yes. Um so with COVID and everything, I've had a few different projects going on. I've done some recording. Slick Sharks, the songs I'm going to play today, because you are part of the Slick Sharks family and we've you know worked with you for so long, yeah. today I was going to play some shark songs for you. There is a new one that we released over a year ago, which I'm not going to do today, but it's called Sunday Morning Heartache. I also released a solo song just recently called uh, Under My Own Name, Jason Lynch, Call the Police. Oh. Um, those are my two latest releases, but I've got a lot more song ideas percolating. Uh, I was working with a band called Calamon. We had recorded some original new material, which is out there and available if you look, you know, Spotify, YouTube, wherever you stream music. Um, those songs are out there. So, yes, I've been working on a ton of new music, and I also have additional songs that are in the early stages that I haven't demoed or recorded yet, but there's a lot more music coming for sure. Yeah. I still want to go on an album off my show, too. Oh, yeah. 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 Because I know we talked about it before. Yeah, we'll do it. Absolutely. Yeah. I yep. still want to do that album. It's going to happen. We just got to work it all out. The logistics, we'll get it going. Yep. I know you'll help me do the locals. That's I right. I mean, vocals. Yeah. Or whatever. Do you ever, you ever sing? No. Let's think at it. Nah. <laughs> it, it, you got to give it a try. Do you ever try? I try, but I can't, I can't do it. All right. We'll, we'll figure it out. I, I think you should sing a couple songs. <laughs> All right. Another question. How did we met? The first time I recall meeting you, because I lived in Haverhill for a bunch of years, so it's totally possible that we may have crossed paths before this. But the first time I ever remember meeting you and like having a conversation was when I was singing for Robot Clean. You showed up at the chit chat early with your camera and your yep. equipment. And you took amazing photos that night. You hung out. You got, like, the whole set. And that was the first time I really remember, like, 
chilling with you, hanging out, talking. And then after that, Slick Shark shows. Yep. Mostly chit chat, Haverhill. Um, yeah, we did uh, birthday shows like here. That's right, or RGs. Like that. Yep. 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 Yeah. So many shows after that, um, but mainly it was between uh, singing for Robot Clean and and Slick Sharks. Those were the the first times that we really. And I was like, man, this guy. He shows up. He's got the camera. He's ready to go. He's here early. He's checking out the stage. Checking out the angles. He's gonna take amazing. Photos and you did. Yep. You got some great shots. I might even add a couple of photos on that show. What's that? No, a couple of photos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Are you going to do a tour with band soon? So, live music at this point in time is coming back. The whole COVID shutdown. Um, we were lucky enough to play some outdoor gigs here and there yeah. and to do a few live things. But for the most part, we hadn't been doing much. Um, I did do one gig with Calamon back in December. Prior to that, the Sharks did a few over the previous summer, like outdoor shows at the beach. Now that restrictions are being lifted and things are somewhat coming back to normal, yeah. we definitely will be out there playing much more. We have a show coming up at the Midway Cafe, Boston. I believe it's April 9th. Um, so it's next month. And that will be the first Slick Sharks show in roughly a year, I would say. So, um, yes, definitely. We're, we're getting back out there. We're going to be playing a lot more. Awesome. Yep. Keep rocking and support. That's, that's the rule of life, bro. I, I rock out. As often as possible. Yep. Yeah, at least no more state of emergency, so that's good. Right, exactly, exactly. Since, as things, since you last know, June. Right. You know, COVID just made everything really uh, almost impossible for a while there yeah. with all the restrictions, but now things are starting to come back, and we're getting back out there. Thanks for the vaccines, too. Yeah. <laughs> sure. All right. All right. What other bands are you doing? Awesome. Well, I had been working with, uh, as I said, Calamon. Yeah. Um, they kind of regrouped with the previous lineup, but I definitely, they're great guys. I hope to work with them again on some projects. Um, I'm always working, as you know, with our great friend Paul Thompson, Gage, you know. Um, yeah. So he's always helping me out with... Um, I've worked with him collaborating, co-writing, working on various projects. We had a project called Mercitron. I don't know if I if, – did you ever hear Mercitron? Nah. All kinds of stuff. I've done, like, uh, little cameo appearances on some of his solo material. He's helped produce a ton of my stuff. He's, he's a great uh, musician all around, great engineer, producer. Um, so I'm always working with him, uh, with my wife, Slick Sharks. We, that project is always going. Um, my wife, Banana Diana, has yep. put out some solo material, too. She put out a song called uh, Toxic not too long ago. There's always stuff going on. So you can definitely plan on new releases coming down uh, the pike very soon. Yep. And like I said, look at Rock Talk album, too. Yeah, exactly. We got to get that going. So you were thinking of doing like a compilation with bands that have appeared on the show. Is that what we were doing? Or we could just do like a one singer or something. Yeah, sure. We could do it like that. We'll get it going. So, so I want to do that, so. All right, dude. Then we could pass it off for free. Now, can I ask you a question? What? What are the other artists that you have now that Local Rock Talk is back in full force? Who do you have coming up on future shows? Well, right now, it's just solo type. Yep. Like you. That's okay. That's that's great. But I have, I have a book for next month. Mm -hmm. His name is uh, Alex Simpson. Okay. So he's coming on. Nice. He's a singer and another player for the guitar. Yep. Still solo music. Mm -hmm. So Dan Lesbills is on 
May 18th. Awesome. But I had to get more dates for after that, though. Gotcha. But no full bands yet. I'm waiting. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, the full bands, I know, like, when we played here, it's a lot of equipment and, you know, logistics. Yeah. Um, so I get it. Yeah, the the interview acoustic stuff to get it back on, it, I think, is yeah. is a good way to do it. Especially during pandemic, so. Yeah. Okay. The last question. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> What songs do you have on your mind that you are going to play? So are we talking original songs that, like, I wrote, or are yeah. we talking, like, cover songs? Because I, I play some cover stuff, too, which obviously I'm not going to do today on the show. This is all about original music. Yeah. But I got all kinds of, uh, all kinds of stuff, man. All right. Yeah. Just... So today I'm going to focus on uh, some familiar Slick Sharks. What do you think I could do, like, maybe three or four? Yeah, for like um, 20 minutes or something. All right. I can make that happen. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do definitely Sharks material, Slick Sharks, uh, mostly from the first album because you were always one of our biggest supporters from the very beginning when we put out Here Come the Sharks, the debut album. Oh, yeah. So I figure, you know, returning to the show, I might as well, you know, revisit some of the classic, classic material. So That's right. that was my plan for today. Good. No worries. You're going to be watching him play. <laughs> All right. That's the last question. So. All right. Now you can play your songs. Okay. Thanks for watching Local Rock Talk. And please be safe out there with this COVID-19 door pandemic. Wash your hands. Stay away from others. See you next time on Local Rock Talk. Rock on, brother. Rock on. All right, my name is Jason Lynch. Thank you very much to my buddy Palza, Local Rock Talk, for having me. Uh, this is a song that I wrote for my band Slick Sharks. It's actually the first song I ever wrote for Slick Sharks. It's about family and close friends and those that uh, have passed on but are still, still here. And uh, you remember them every day and you wait for the time that you'll see them again. So that's the vibe of this song. It's called I'll Wait For You. I'll wait for you till the end of time. Yes, I'll wait for you. And one day you'll be mine Hanging down the lost and found 36 years since you've been around Now they say the end's closing in Till then I'll wait for you Till the end of time Yes, I'll wait for you And one day you'll be mine Lost fears, lost my friends Too fast in the rest of the end Which I knew what I know now Somehow I'll wait for you Till the end of time Yes, I'll wait for you And one day you'll be mine All mine No mine Oh No mine I'll wait for you Till the end of time Yes, I'll wait for you when one day you'll be mine 
I'll wait for you till the end of time. Yes, I'll wait for you, and one day you'll be mine, oh man. Oh man. Uh, so I'm doing songs uh, for today that are primarily off the Slick Sharks first album, which is called Here, Here Come the Sharks, um, because Paul's a host of local rock talk has been such a huge support to the Slick Sharks family and uh, all of our projects from the very beginning. And we have a long history with local rock talk. So those are the songs for today. This one is called Get Out While You Can. What are you doing on the side of the street? What brings you down here? Who are you trying to mean? Cause I ain't seen you here before. You don't know who I am. And I know just what you're doing. You better get out while you can. while you can why are you asking it seems you don't know me you stand in judgment on your side of the street cause I ain't seen you here before you don't know who I am don't you know that I'd get out if I only come, only Cause I ain't seen you here before And you don't know who I am You should've got it This next one is called In It to Win It. Can't waste time on the here for a minute. Never said I was in it to win it. No, not this time. One more drink and I'll drown in my sorrow And I don't give a damn about tomorrow Now it's showtime Life can be a walk in the park But even if it's dark I'm a shark So if you feel like giving in Grab my dose of bed Don't 
also been when when yeah and they run like a thief as soon as I show my teeth I told you sharks never sleep always remember that my baby One more drink and I'll drown in my sorrow Now I don't give a damn about tomorrow Now it's showtime Better watch out Here come the sharks Life can be a walk in the park But even if it's dark I'm a shark so if you feel like giving in, grab my dorsal fin and win, win, yeah. All right, so what do you think? One more, two more? Do at least one more, right? And if we have time, maybe I'll go for a second one. But thanks again for having me, Local Rock Talk, Paulsley. You're the best HC media. You guys are awesome. Um, song off Here Come the Sharks, album by Slick Sharks. This one is one that I typically duet with my wife, so it's going to sound a little different because it's just me. But uh, here we go. This song is called Here Comes Trouble. Heading right my way. Same story, different day Knocking almost to you say Here comes trouble once again When I'm riding in your car Speeding like a shooting star Never far from where you are And here comes trouble once again I've been waiting Oh Same old song, and I get the lyrics wrong. I never thought I'd live this long, and it comes trouble once I've been waiting all my life. Now, everybody say, I've been. There's one thing that we forgot to talk about. What's that? It's about me doing a local rock talk float. That year that we did the float for the Thanksgiving parade, it was the, the Santa parade. parade. Yeah. That was amazing. That was unbelievable because the local rock talk float that we had going, we hooked up our PA system. Yep. We were blasting. Um, our own renditions of Christmas music. So that was, that's a project called the Chris Fits. Yeah. 
Um, it's Christmas songs recorded in the style of the Misfits. So we were blasting that on a loop. So it's like Jingle Bells, Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, all of that. Paul Thompson and I recorded that, and um, it's great. It's like punk rock renditions of all those classic Christmas songs. Yeah. So I'll never forget you and I setting up the float, hooking up the PA with the generator on the float. That's right. All the decorations, the banners, everything, and cruising through downtown, throwing out candy to the kids. Everybody's like jumping around, yeah, dancing slick, to the slick sharks. Um, slick sharks. Yep. We had the um, we had slick sharks bracelets. We had candies with the slick sharks logo stickers. I think we threw out some CDs to people, and we just rode on the float through downtown Haverhill. It was amazing. It was like one of the coolest, most fun gigs. I remember originally we were talking about, oh, can we get the band to actually play? But it would have been so hard because we didn't have like a flatbed. We just had like a trailer, yeah. and you would need power for the amps and all that. Yeah. But what we did was perfect yep. because we were just had the float all decked out, local rock talk. Yep. blasting the, the music. It was amazing, and, and people seemed to really dig it, so that was very cool. Yeah, we was going to do it a float last year, but yeah, well, I just again, don't want to trust the yeah. Yeah. COVID and stuff. Right. But I'm going to do it like this year. Let's, let's look at it, yeah. Let's see if we can get it going. That would be amazing. Yeah. I'd love to do it again. Yeah, if we tell the people the information, what we need, stuff like that. Yeah. And maybe we could get a couple bands um, to jump on, you know, if, and it doesn't necessarily, like, we had that Christmas or Chris Fitz, Christmas songs in the style of the Misfits. We had that recording, like, ready to go. Yeah. But even if it's not holiday music, if, if other bands, local bands, wanted to jump on and just do a local rock thing, it yeah. doesn't necessarily have to be uh, Christmas music. It, it's amazing. Just, just... Um, we could get a bunch more bands involved, so we would need like the trailer, like last time. Yeah. Generator for the PA, some music, and then decorations. So, if any bands watching are interested and you want to get in on something like that, I'm telling you, it was, it was amazing. It was really, really fun. Got a great response. People seem to really dig it. So yep. We had good time. Let's try to do it again. Yeah. Yeah. So. Like I said, we need to find a trailer and a generator for it. Right. Because we need that. Yeah, and we'll we'll try to hook all that up. You need, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we could try to add that on it this year. Yeah, of course. Let's try to get a bigger, you know. Yeah. Bigger and better every year, right? Yeah. Yeah. This year we'll get the bike going. We'll yeah, get, that'd be cool. You know. Yeah. Add Christmas lights on it, something yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Christmas lights. The decorations on that float, considering, like, you know, we kind of threw it together pretty quick. Yeah. But uh, it looked it looked pretty awesome. Yeah. And uh, like I said, we, we'll get the uh, PA system going. We'll blast any bands that are interested. If you wanted to do the float, put their music on rotation yep. as we cruise through downtown. It was really, really fun. Yeah, maybe we should try to make some new Christmas tunes, too. Yeah, definitely. Talk to Paul about it, you know. Oh, yeah. Definitely. We'll get it going, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Should be safer this year, so. Yeah. I think, yeah, it should be as far as COVID and all that. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Um, I really want to do it again, so. So, uh, where'd you get these? Uh, is that a new base? Yeah. Where'd you get that? That's pretty sweet. I ordered from Amazon. Nice. It's cool. I like it. Yeah. You've been... Uh, jamming out like you working with jail or america's trash or any any of that stuff well not not really during the pandemic song no yeah but are you still jamming on your own and playing yeah if i'm in mo for it yeah that's all cool. get back back at it we'll jam around we'll come up with some uh man, new lo you. local rock talk jam right yeah me and you yeah yeah we'll get it going at your place or something yeah sounds good brother yeah. So what else has been going on? Anything else um, since I've seen you last? It's been a while. I think I saw you around Thanksgiving. Yep. So everything's good? Everything's good. Still rocking out? Still rocking out. Every help. day? Oh, yeah. Rock and roll all night, party every day. That's right. right. That's how you do it. Yep. 
All right, so like I said, if you want to do on the float, just top us up for a trailer and generator. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it going. Yeah, I want to plan it way ahead of time this time. Right. Before uh, November. I gotcha. So that way I can fill out application out and boom. All right, brother. Go over and make. I think you said you know someone who can make some declarations too, right? Uh, probably. Yeah. Because I know last I know last time we was gonna do it. You said you know someone can make some declarations. I probably do. Yeah, I, th I think I know maybe a couple people that could help out with that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we just want to talk about the flow pot, so. Yep. So, like I said, we need a trailer mm -hmm. and a generator. Right. That's what we need. Right. And we can take care of the decorations. That's right. Like I said, we might add the local rock talk bike display. I think that's a great idea. We need to find a way to keep it steady so it won't move, though. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that means we might have to come here and pick it up, though. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Unless we make the float here or something. That's another idea. We might yeah, we, we might look into that. We'll do some brainstorming. We'll we'll figure out what's what's the best yep. way to handle it. Yeah. That's right. All right, brother. All right. Thanks again for watching Local Rock Talk. Peace out, rock on. We've got We have H C Media's own coming oh. up. Local rock talk. Local rock talk. This is what we've all been waiting it's for. Paul's a Greeley. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Paul's alert. Local rock HC talk. HC Media's own HC local media rock talk. talk. Look at rock him. Talk. He is hey, looking Paul's good. Up. Paul's up. That float looks awesome. Great job. You know, Paul's did that all. Paul's did that. They're you know, all by himself. Paul's that's amazing. Yes. One of those yes. shows, if you haven't seen it, you have to see. It's a must see. It's it one is. of our most. Beloved programs. It's, it's one of the best things on HCB. Oh, he's even throwing candy. There you go. <laughs> and a celebrity downtown when you see him walking around. <laughs> and he's followed up by the 105.7 WROR car. Thanks for watching Local Rock Talk with your host, Paul Zabrilli. Until next time, keep on rocking.